feed, Facebook. Hi, everybody. How welcome to Sunday cooking class. Again. Finally on a Sunday. Yay. Christmas is finished. hoo -ha. You mean Christmas eating is finished? Christmas eating is finished. Remember that here in Spain, we do celebrate the Epiphany. So we've been having lunches, dinners, breakfast, everything until yesterday, since January 24th. We we're like, Bleh. so always right when the season ends and all the holidays and everything finishes, what we start doing is we go ahead and we go on a detox diet. See? Well, so, sort of. It means that we just eat more vegetables than <laughs> what we have been eating for the last two weeks. Yes. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Today we are going to cook some cabbage. Cabbage, which is very detox, right? Well, it's detox. You like this word, detox. It's like a fashionable word. Okay, so shall we? Okay, perfect. Let's go. Vamos! Hey, Emily Wright. How about from Seattle? So good to see you. How are you doing? Hello, hello. You know, we love saying hello to people. Hey, okay, let me turn the camera around. So tonight is going to be Grammy's night. And to celebrate, well, we have these two Oscars. <laughs> well, Oscars. They're from a Spanish uh, porcelain company called Yadro. Yeah, so it's super cool. And we love them. Hi, James. How are you doing? So to celebrate that we do have Grammys tonight. That's it. Who will win? We don't know. Anyway, boss is here. Hello, let me show you the ingredients for today. So, uh, well, the first thing, the cabbage. This is our organic cabbage that our neighbors have given to us. We love our neighbors. And the garlic that we're gonna roast, okay? So those are the basic ingredients. Then for roasting them, you need some olive oil, some pepper, and some salt. For the sauce, what we're gonna need is just some olive oil, we're gonna have some tahini, which is sesame paste. Mm -hmm. Some water to make it more or less liquid. This is the garlic already what? roasted. Yeah. We have some lemon juice. We do have some vinegar here, some Dijon mustard, and uh, some soy sauce. And then if you want to dress it up a little bit, you put either satar, which are just herbs, or sumac, which are just like, See, so yeah, also herbs. Yeah, spices. Spices. <laughs> there we go. Herbs, spices. That sounds much better. And then for decoration, for garnishing, we have some, you know, to give it some color, some beautiful pomegranate and some parsley. So, okay. boss, boss, boss. Let's just start preheating the oven to 200 degrees. I don't know how many Fahrenheit. So I always get uh, well, messed up with that. Not too. If you put that one on yeah, the other direction, it will bother you less. Well, that's how the cabbage will look because we don't have time to wait until the cabbage roasts. We have just roasted a little bit and that's how it will go. Okay. okay. So. It is super simple. As you will, it's, well, it's super and simple. Always. Yeah. Always. Yeah. So let's do something. Uh, well, I have to get things out of the way somehow. There we go. So we'll have a big kitchen, but hey, you need more space. I always need more space. So, okay. uh, right. Let's see how I do it. So, we have the cabbage, as you can see, it's we super We have the smooth. cabbage, and uh, I don't want you to cut it. Let's see how, how to cut it. <laughs> as long as you don't cut your finger. <laughs> okay. The thing is that if this is uh, ecological cabbage and it's a bit loose, maybe you get a cabbage that is like harder and that makes it yeah. easier for the oven, but this is has got more flavor. So let's say... Oh, by the way, hello, Chris and Mike. How are you doing? Hello. <laughs> uh, so one, let's say two centimeters, so... Which is about an inch. Yeah, a little bit less than an inch. inch. Like put a finger, that would do. Good right. enough. Okay, let me zoom in. Get, there we go, go ahead. Okay. So, okay. maybe we need to get like a few knives. Yeah, that's one of the things we need to do. Okay, so let's cut it into. I love your uncle's cabbage. It's so tender, so good, so fresh, so. Oh. Yeah, it's, I think it's, it's called Rita. Well, how do you I don't know how you call it. Oh, cabbage. Cabbage. Okay. So you cut it in half. Okay, important. It has to be away from each other, they don't have to touch. 
You don't have to touch. Otherwise, what happens is that the cabbage, instead of roasting, I mean, um, boils. Yeah, they, we don't want that. No, because you want a little bit of the crunchiness. That's yeah. okay. Hi, Mary Van Ottingen. Everybody from Seattle. Hola, everybody from Seattle. This is super fresh. Okay, and um, I don't throw this away. I put it here. Okay. All the extra leaves that, you know, instead of throwing them away, you don't throw anything away. No food is thrown in this house. You don't throw things away. Uh -uh. Uh, you put them on a side and then you can eat them just crunchy and yeah. so super good. I eat them. I, yeah. It's me who eats them. All right, so extra virgin olive oil. This is a thing that we use for the air fryer. Well, the thing is that as we are uh, yes. on a detox, instead of putting a lot of olive oil, you spray a little bit of olive oil on top of it well, with this spray and you put much less than normal. So if you don't have it, just put some yeah. olive oil on it and that's, but I mean, not, don't go crazy about things. You don't need to have everything we have in the kitchen. Yeah, because I know it has everything in the kitchen. I've got everything. Okay, so a little bit of salt on each one of the pieces of cabbage. In the Spain cabbage, we call it Col, C-O-L, so it's easy for you guys to remember. Spanish word of the day. And then some pepper, grounded pepper. Okay, this is a mixture of peppers, like pink pepper, black pepper, uh, uh, what? Black, white pepper. Black, pe black, everything, every yeah. pepper. Okay, what happened? It's like all the peppers that we have at home. Maybe I have to get a new one. No, it's no. working. All right, it's working. We don't, we like pepper, but we don't over like pepper. So let me show you how much we put, okay? So as you can see, it's not that, that for, much For us, pepper. that's a lot. That's a lot. And I know like in America, uh, you guys put much more pepper than we do. We want the, the flavor of the, um, yeah. we want the flavor of the cabbage to show, right? Okay, so now let's go with the, car with the garlic. Okay, garlic, easy, thing, easy way to do it. You cut the garlic in half, uh, important thing. Don't peel it. Yeah. Don't peel it because this will hold the garlic together. Yes, right? so that's what you want. That's what you want. You want the garlic to be very tight so you don't have to peel it. It will not burn or anything, so. Don't worry. Uh, and I don't, cut it, I don't cut it to the end, right? Yeah. You don't need to. Yes, then, put it in tin foil. You put it in tin foil. No, you don't need to add any uh, anything. Oil or anything. So no, you don't need to. That's it. That's all. As you can see, super simple. Now this goes into the oven. This goes into the oven. One thing you do, maybe, you, is clean everything while you cook. Yes, that's <laughs> normally that's my job. I'm the <laughs> kitchen uh, helper. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So uh, here we go. We have the cabbage and the garlic inside of it. The temperature is 200 Celsius. I think it's 380 Fahrenheit. And it's gonna be here 20 minutes. Uh, depends on the cabbage, obviously. I would say between, uh, depends on the cabbage. Let's say 25, 30 minutes, right? But check, uh, check when, you, when it's 20, right? Yeah. Depends on your oven. Check, okay. Check several times. So what I'm gonna do is make it because I know this kind of cabbage. We've done it, we've cooked it before, so I know let's make it 25. 25 minutes, okay. Right? So now let's go with the sauce, because the sauce is probably the star of the day. Yeah. And I have to say that this sauce, you can put the quantities as much as you want, because it, it's more about your taste. This is how we like it, the quantities, because it's kind of foul, quite powerful in taste. It's quite powerful, yes. So, but okay. So, what we what use? Have? <coughs> olive oil. Olive oil. It, this is a eighty grams, but um, which is quarter of a cup. Quarter of a cup. Yeah. These are my three table no tablespoons of tahini paste. Which is sesame. Sesame paste, paste which is tahini. There we go. Or tahin, or whatever people call it. And this is white. Yeah, white tahini. you have black tahini or white this tahini. Is, this is raw, right? So you don't, you can, you can use uh, also toasted, black, whatever it suits you. That is one, okay. So that is one, two, two tablespoons of cider vinegar. Okay. 
Good taste. I mean, good quality, please. Yes. Um, <laughs> it's very important. These are two teaspoons of Dijon mustard. This is the real one. Ah, uh, here we have a fight because I know I like it with more mustard than I do. Oh, I like it a little bit. So, well, I uh, I don't like mustard too much. I mean, I like just <laughs> the taste of it, but I don't like the spiciness of it. So it's like, oh. So you don't like mustard? I do. Oh, that's okay. so exhausting. Awesome. <laughs> so She's laughing at me. <laughs> she fool. <laughs> okay. Because we've got about five kinds of mustard. But you eat them all. And I eat them all. <laughs> okay. The soy sauce goes in. Okay. Um, and now what we're missing is the garlic. No, we are missing okay. the, the, the lemon juice, right? The lemon so, juice. this is one and a half lemon, lemons, but I'm not going to put it all because, you know, um, Fran doesn't like <laughs> mustard. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't like too much uh, lemon in his, in this uh, sauce either. So, you're a chicken. She likes all the things that are bitter, and I don't. I like sweet things. <laughs> She's always making fun of me. Anyway, back to you, girl. <laughs> Okay so, okay, so the garlic. The garlic. Okay. So the way you clean the garlic when it's roasted, you just press it. You just press it. And everything comes out. So it's... You have to be careful with the little... Threads, the little yeah. pieces. But you don't need to go one by one. No, no, no. And... Oh my God, it smells so... I love the smell of garlic. Okay. So we've got something in common. Okay. Thank God, I have three kids in common as well. <laughs> Okay. Uh, I'm going to use it all. Okay. So what you do okay. is, so, I do it again. There so you we take, go. Uh, I'm a chick with a, I don't want the smell of garlic in my fingers. Okay, so whoops. What you do is try to hold it and then press it and it will go alone. Why are you laughing? Nothing, my brain. <laughs> I'm thinking <laughs> something disgusting. <laughs> don't, don't explain me. <laughs> it's okay, I won't. But it's like pimple popper. <laughs> okay, sorry. Um, I'm sorry. My brain is playing tricks on me today. She's garlic. Keep it. Keep <laughs> garlic, the idea. Keep it. Aye. <clears throat> sorry. Okay, so this is the good thing about uh, roast garlic. If you want it more roasted, uh, put a little bit of olive oil in, inside the garlic. Okay? Or just give go. it, uh, cook it without the tin foil. There we go. Okay. So we've got everything here. And a strong smell of garlic all over the kitchen. Wow, ah, it's good. Okay. okay, so let me hand you the blender. But I mean, uh, roasted blender. garlic is not so strong for the stomach. Oh, it's far away, yeah. <laughs> it's been like this for 16 years. <laughs> What's going on today? Okay, okay. let's blend it. So, we blend it. This is like sort of a manis. Yeah. And in fact, I think uh, this sauce, when you make it uh, and you give it a try, it's more like, I would say, like, um, how do you call it? The Caesar salad dressing? If I could taste a salad, like Caesar, uh, like Caesar salad, I think it's the, it's the soy sauce. It's the soy sauce. I mean, it, it, if you don't like anchovies, give it a try to these because this is a great salad dressing as well. Yes, make it more liquid. Okay, yes. just add a little water. Look at this. Let me show you how thick it is right it now. It's too thick. Oops, sorry. We don't want it that thick. That's too thick. So what we do is just add a little bit of water. You go little by little. Yeah. So you're making like a mayonnaise without egg, with assess a salad. So it's very, very good. I would say this is a vegan sauce. Oh yeah, it's a vegan sauce. It's a vegan there we go. Sauce. It's, a, it's a vegan mayonnaise. So if you have somebody, someone vegan, this is a great dish. Oh. Okay. So a little bit more? No. No. Okay, okay, no. I think it's perfect. Nah. Nah. Let's make it a bit liquid because it needs to pour over the cup. You'll see why. Yeah. Bye. So I'll explain why we wanted it more liquid, right? 
No. Right. So this will do. Okay. So, as we have told you, we already have roasted one, uh, one and a half roasted. cabbages. So this is how, in about 25 more minutes, how the cabbage, cabbage will look. Okay, so as you can see, it's a little bit crispy. It's super good. We have just roasted it, so they're warm. Okay, because the thing is that you have to eat them warm. So if you, if, okay, let's make a serving. Because I said you have to keep the sauce liquid. A little bit liquid. So let me show you what, right? Okay. So let's go for this, like this, right? All right. There we go. And so we have it here. Let me bring it. Okay. Oh, okay. Go. There we go. Perfecto. Okay. Perfect. Great. Fine. So you just want to put. Okay. So this might even be too thick, but you don't don't mind. Uh, the thing is that we want it to go inside. Yeah. You want to put it, and so it filters inside of the cabbage. Okay. As the cabbage has all of these, you know, leaves and holes and everything. So I think we could have gone a little bit Maybe it's lighter. Too, yeah, yeah, we could even make it lighter. It doesn't matter. You, you make it to your taste, right? Um, I think it's a Spanish... Um, grenade. Pomegranate. Pom pomegranate. I used to say pomegranate, but it's pomegranate. What? Is That's it? what they told me. It's a pomegranate. You have to pronounce it. Pom -agranate. Okay. Whatever. So you just put... <laughs> yes, for decoration. It is just... Looks, I think it looks better uh, with the reddish color, which is very beautiful. And then you put, whoops, sorry, a couple sorry. of parsley leaves around, just to make it look beautiful, right? Because always remember that food. That's very Christmassy. It's very Christmas. Now that you say so, I guess it's the last of Christmas. So that's it. We have a roasted uh, cabbage with a fake, <laughs> let's call it, uh, Caesar dressing. Let's Caesar salad, let's say, yeah. Right. So, really good. I hope it doesn't steam up because it's a little bit warm. So, I also like, you know, the heat of the cabbage and the coolness of the, mm. of the sauce. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So, you just give it a go. Yeah. Try it. Make it your own. And as we have told you from the beginning, this is one of the sauces that it's super good. At home, we love it. And... Goes with an if you It goes with vegetables. goes with salads. Goes with, with chickpeas also. Chickpeas. Lentils. So. If you make a lentil salad, you make it much liquid, yeah. much more liquid. So it goes with almost everything. It's healthy and it's good. And it's fast. It's, it's healthy, but it doesn't mean it's not caloric. Well, it, it only has some olive oil. Olive what else do we have? And tahini. Tahini. Well, oh, we, oh. By the way, we have not uh, added the satar. Okay. I'm not... This is... Okay, hold it, hold it. Hmm. So, so this... let's say like satar is a mix of herbs mm -hmm. and um, this has got black, black sesame seeds. You can use this or what I'm going to do, <clears throat> I'm going to use sumac. Sumac is like grounded spices, mm -hmm. uh, but I'll use it because of the color. So already... There we go. So it just, add, just adds a little bit of flavor. If you don't have, it's okay. it's okay, but we just like it to add a little bit of either satar or sumac. Right? Okay. You can find them at most of the grocery stores. Just in, I, it, here in Spain, it used to be kind of difficult to find, but in mm. I, I think we saw it in Trader Joe's in the United States. Yes, when we yeah. were I think you have week. it in Trader Joe's. So it's easy to find. Okay. Fine. With all of that said, uh, next week, what are we cooking next week? What we are cooking is, not, not re we are not going to cook, we are going to pickle. Pickle. Okay, let's say some. cooking. Pickle um, onions. Red red pickled onions because that's very healthy. It's got yeah. probiotics and, and it's got very good for January. Yes, to gain and the stomach to be a little bit thicker. And then we'd also make like a feta. Feta. Feta in a jug. So you can keep it in the fridge and use it for any anything. Any salad or anything. Anyway, our friends, we shall see you next week. We love you all and Take care. Adios, amigos. See you next week. See you next week. Adios.